If you're looking for Ultimate Team Coins, check out thefootshop.com. They will be in the description. And don't forget to use the promo code Tobias to save yourself as much money as possible. Smash and grab. That is the brand new series that I'm going to be bringing onto my channel. We're going to be uploading it every single day. I hope you guys do love it. If you do, you know what to do. Smash that like button. That would be absolutely insane. 5,000 likes for episode 1 would be absolutely incredible. And if you guys would like to see this series uploaded twice a day. Yes, twice a day. Let me know in the comments because that is something that I want to bring to you guys because I'm super excited to get this series on the road. Now, as you can see, we've got a starter team here that you get when you start Ultimate Team. However, there is a first owner, Cristiano Ronaldo, in there. Now, I'm going to explain the rules to you of this new series called Smash and Grab, which will all make sense to you once I've read all the rules. You're probably wondering what is going on right now. But when I read the rules to you in about two seconds' time, you will all understand how this series is going to work. So, rule number one, Ronaldo is untouchable and must remain in this squad for the whole series and play in every single game. Not too complicated, we all can understand that. Have you all understood that? Good. Ronaldo, you're staying there, you're gonna be playing every game. We're probably gonna play you as a striker because you're being wasted at left mid there. Hopefully, he's gonna bang in loads and loads of goals. Rule number two, after every win we do get from the games that we are going to be playing on our way to Division 1, if we win it, the player in our opposition's team with the highest match rating, not overall rating, match rating after the game that we have just won, we grab that player, whoever it may be, we go and buy them and we put them into our team. So if we beat our opposition, whoever has the highest match rating out of 10 after the game, we grab them and we stick them into the squad. So fingers crossed, we're going to be coming up against good players. That is the main thing we want. We want to be coming up against good players. Rule number three, after every loss, the player on my team with the lowest match rating, so whoever has the worst game in the game that we did lose, unfortunately, they are getting removed from the squad and we actually have to downgrade that player. For example, if our right back has a shocking, shocking game, he's going to be getting downgraded because he was the lowest match rating in the game and he'll be downgraded to a silver. He's a gold, so it's going to go down to a silver. If our right mid had the worst game ever, it would get downgraded to a bronze, so on and so forth. But remember, Ronaldo is untouchable. Rule number four, after every single game, the player with the lowest overall on my opposition's team, on uh, my team, beg your pardon, gets swapped with the player with the lowest match rating on my opposition's team. Okay, so for example, I'm trying to work it out really quickly. The lowest overall in our team here is this guy here, Fry from Birmingham. He, if we draw, would be getting replaced with the guy in my opposition squad with the lowest match rating. So for example, say my opposition had Benzema and he got the lowest match rating at the end of the draw, our lowest rated player, which as it stands is Fry from Birmingham, would be getting swapped for Benzema, which works in our favor, but it won't work in our favor every single time. Because we might have a game, it might end in a draw, and a player with the lowest match rating on my opposition's team, it might be like a bronze player. And after a few games, we'll be getting lots and lots of golds, so we'll eventually start having to downgrade and lose and swap out gold players. So yes, that is that. We've got a win rule, we've got a loss rule, and we also have a draw rule. Right, last and final rule of this series before we do jump into our game and get this series kickstarted, which I'm absolutely psyched about. After every division promotion, if we get division promotions, which I'm hoping we're going to be getting 10 of them, open packs to the equivalent of the number of wins we managed to secure in that division. So if we win division 10 and we have five wins in division 10, we open five packs and we are allowed to use those players to help out our squad, which is pretty absolutely freaking awesome because I'm hoping every time we get a promotion, we'll be having a lot of wins. But if we only have like... Yeah, but that's pretty much it. They are the, all the rules. If you guys do forget them, then just check, rewind, and just listen to them all again. They were on your screen as well. Anyway, they are all the rules. We're going to get this series kickstarted now. We're going to jump into a game. I'm hoping we're going to come up against a good team that I can beat because we are going to be robbing a lot of players in this series. We're essentially robbing as many players as we can on our way to Division 1. Let's get this started. 
And let's jump into our first game. Game number one of Smash and Grab, the brand new series on my channel. We are coming up against, oh my god, hopefully we can get Manuel Neuer. If we win this game and Neuer has the highest match rating, we bring him into the team. Can we try and get, I don't know how, we're going to try and have to make Neuer get the highest match rating. But fingers Lads, please, cross your fingers. We want Neuer to have an amazing game, but we also, we want to win. So we're going to try and have to work this one out somehow. Anyway, Ronaldo, do some bits for me. I need to change him to a striker, actually. I'll do that quickly now. It's Ronaldo. Take two. I don't, I don't even know what that was. Who was that? Number 11. Is that number 11? That was the world's most pathetic shot. I was hoping we could take the lead there with a... With Ronaldo, but we, we failed. We've absolutely failed that one. That's, that's very awkward. It's Ronaldo. Come on. Go on. It's not there. Neuer has made an incredible save. And it's 0 0 still. How is it still 0 0? Ronaldo. And Neuer, once again, three times in a row, has made another incredible save. Ronaldo. Yes, finally, fourth time lucky. And that actually works in our favour. We've gone 1 0 up. And Manuel Neuer has made a stupid amount of saves already. So his match rating is going to be very, very high. I need to get the lead and make Neuer try and get man of the match. Because that way, on the rules, we'll be bringing Neuer into the squad. Ronaldo again. Neuer has made another incredible save. This is good, but I, I, I do want to get some breathing room. I do want to get... I probably shouldn't take the corner of Ronaldo. I've done it. Come on. And it's over. Neuer is literally saving everything so far. I want at least 2-0, and then I'll try and get Neuer to have an amazing game. Ronaldo, please, 2-0. It's, it's there. Bottom corner, Ronaldo. 2-0 in the 21st minute. Ronaldo's going to be carrying this Division 10 on his back. Hopefully, I'm actually desperate that we're going to get Neuer into our team from game number one. That would be absolutely awesome. It's Ronaldo again. He's got to get a hat-trick. He has done. The hat-trick is there. Before the 31st minute, we are stomping this one. But well, that's probably expected considering I've got the greatest player in the world. According to FIFA, that's not me saying that. That's according to FIFA. I agree with them. That's besides the point. 3-0 up. Ronaldo hat-trick. Beautiful. I don't, I don't even know what happened there. I took the most pathetic shot ever. Neuer didn't catch, mate, do I want Neuer? After seeing that goal, I'm questioning whether I want Neuer. Now, seriously, I, I would be desperate for Neuer, but I don't know what. What did he do there? It, like, bounced off my striker's, like, back or something? And Neuer didn't, what are you, what are you doing? Let's watch a replay of that one. Took a shot, didn't catch it. And it, it, came, it came off the back of Neuer's head. Alright, so no one wants to run to the ball. None of my defenders want to run to the ball. We'll just let the striker pick up the loose ball for one on one. No one... Fair enough. It's 4-1. It's Game on. Not really, because we're 4-1 up with Cristiano Ronaldo. But yeah, we've conceded, which is unfortunate. Oh, what a run by Ronaldo. Bury it, please. Neuer's made a good save. That's good, because it'll put Neuer's rating up. And if he gets the highest rating and we win, which it looks like we w will do, we're going to be robbing Neuer. Right, that is half time there. We're in a very good position because, as I've said, we're 4-1 up, so it looks like we're going to be getting the win, which means we'll be stealing a player. And that man there, Manuel Neuer, has had an amazing first half. He's made a stupid amount of saves. Please, EA Gods, make Neuer the highest rated player on my opposition's team because then we're going to be stealing him. Look at, look at that. He's, he's had six, he's made six saves so far. We've had ten shots on target, scored four of them. That means he's saved six. That is, he's going to get a good rating, definitely. Oh, Ronaldo's through again. Am I going to tramp it or shall I go with Ronaldo? I think I'm going to go with Ronaldo. Let's take it past Neuer and we slot it into the back of the net like that. Ronaldo with his pace, with his dribbling, with his shooting. Those one-on-ones in this series aren't going to be missed. I'm having a lot of fun with Ronaldo. Four goals. And we can still get more. Boom! Here's Ronaldo. I didn't think that was going to go in. Oh, this game. This isn't going to be... We're not going to have very tough games in Division 10. That's the only problem. We're 6-1 up. I think Ronaldo has now scored five goals. 
I'm just trying to pray that Neuer is conceding a lot of goals. Maybe I should calm down and stop scoring goals because Neuer's rating is probably starting to take a beating. So yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to score any more goals. Let's just see this one out to the end of the game. We've only got 20 minutes left. Please give Neuer man of the match. He's probably going to go to Ronaldo, but at least give Neuer a high rating. Right, that is the full time whistle there. We've managed to win. So, going by the rules, we get to grab and put in our steal, uh, put in our team, beg your pardon, the player on my opposition's team with the highest match rating. Please, let it be Neuer. Who is it going to be? That's what, oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. The first player we're going to be stealing in this series. Yes! It is Manuel Neuer. The first player we are getting in this series is a 90 rated goalkeeper. There you can see from the match ratings, he got a 9.4, which is ridiculously high compared to the rest of the team. So what we're going to go and do now is we're going to go and put Neuer in our team and then we'll jump into game number two. There he is, 90 rated Manuel Neuer. I didn't expect us to steal a player of that high of a value so early on in this series, but we've got him. 90 rated, the goalkeeper of the year. He's in our team. We haven't actually got the team of the year version, but maybe in the future, that's what we can upgrade to. But anyway, let's jump into game number two. If we could have another result like that, that would be absolutely fantastic. Second and final game of this episode, episode number one. Oh my god, if we could get Ribery, that would be absolutely insane. Please, please let Ribery get the, the highest rating for him. And a win. Obviously, we need a win to be able to steal a player. Please, this could, this could be insane. Ribery and Neuer in episode one of Smash and Grab. Just, just make it happen. It's Ronaldo. Please give us the lead. Give us the lead. He's done it. He's done it. Our first attack of the game coming in the 15th minute. Ronaldo absolutely walked past my opposition's defence there. And he's got himself another goal. If we can win this and Ribéry gets the highest rate in the other team. Fucking hell. This will be an incredible episode. Go. 2-0. Is it there? Come on. Take two part. This keeper is absolutely shit. You just put a through ball through. Run at him, take a little bit of a heavy touch, and you get past him, you just slot it in. Even my, uh, I don't even know who that was that scored that, but it wasn't Ronaldo. We've got two new up, and R Ribery's been too quiet for my liking. He's not doing much. He's got the ball now, though. Look at that strength from Ronaldo. Oh, what a goal by Ronaldo. I know it's only bronze defenders, but no, in fact, he's got Distan in there somewhere. The strength and rocket it into the top corner. It's 3-0 and it's another goal from Ronaldo. All we need to do now, now we've got the win. We just need to let Ribery have a good game and we get him for the team. Right, that is half time. We are doing very, very well. And uh, Ribery's actually finally come out of his little cave. You can see there, six shots, six shots on target. Ribery's actually started to do stuff. He's actually starting to do stuff on my position. So if he gets the highest rating and we do win this game, we're gonna get fucking Ribery! We're getting Ribery! Hopefully, maybe, fingers crossed. He's quit! My opposition has quit. Ronaldo, oh shit. So I didn't get the man of the match. This is the moment of truth. Who got the highest rating for my opposition and who are we going to be welcoming to the club? It's Ribery! It's actually Ribery! I'm trying to 6.3 is the highest rate there. I don't know where the man of the match logo is. Oh, it's because it didn't end the match. Ribery got the highest rating. What the fuck? We're actually bringing Ribery into the squad. Manuel Neuer and Ribery have both been the highest rating players in my opposition squad at the end of the wins. Beautiful! We're welcoming Ribery to the squad. Let's go and buy him. There he is. Frank Ribery has been added to the squad. 88 rated left midfielder because him and Ronaldo do clash. I've actually changed Ronaldo to a left forward and I've put him up front so that Ribery can hold up the left midfield spot. Manuel Neuer in goal. This has been an insane first episode 
of Smash and Grab. This is unfortunately the end of it. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this brand new episode that I've brought to my channel, then make sure to smash a like on that like button. Smite 5,000 likes would be absolutely insane. I can't believe how crazy this first episode of this series has been. We've managed to get Manuel Neuer and Frank Ribery into the squad in our first two games. Smash that like button if you guys would like to see this ep uh, this series uploaded onto my channel twice a day. Let me know down there in the comments and let me know via the amount of likes because if you guys smash 5,000 likes, I will definitely do that for you. Hope you all enjoyed this. If you have, you know what to do. Until the next one, I'll be speaking to us later. Take care.